Steve Bannon. So I don't know if you've seen this. This book has come out, yeah. or they've released excerpts from a book that is going to come out, where basically the Trump campaign allowed uh, a journalist to hang out with them for months. Right? Well, the Trump presidency, they allowed him in the White House, and this guy just hung out. And he was just in the room, apparently. And no one thought about it, and they just carried on with their lives. <laughs> and then now he's like, all right, so I wrote a book. <laughs> and the people are like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, I wrote a book. And they're like, where, where did you write the book from? He's like, oh, I was in the room. And they're like, wait, 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 is that why you were in the room? He's like, yeah, why do you think I was in the room? <laughs> like, we don't know. We just have people in the room. We don't know. And now there's a book that's coming out. And I mean, some of it seems salacious, don't get me wrong, but there are some parts of it where you go like, oh, I can see this happening. And now Steve Bannon came out, like, in the book, he's made these statements, and Trump has come out and slammed him. What I find interesting about Donald Trump is his go-to attack for any person that goes against him in his campaign is basically straight up, I don't know who this is. <laughs> That's what he did to Steve Bannon's life. He's like, Steve Bannon didn't help me. I don't know him. <laughs> he had a tiny role. He was your chief strategist in the White House. And you're like, he was like tiny, like didn't even do anything major. <laughs> I can tell you now, if one of Trump's sons turns on him, he will disavow him so, he'd be like, wasn't even my sperm. <laughs> Didn't come from me.